Hello everyone, welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. Today we will learn about modular bipolar processes and implants and instruments related to it. So let's begin. Treatment for femoral neck fracture can be successfully achieved through a bipolar hemioplasty using bipolar hip processes. Out of different options, many prefer to use bipolar type, which is a femoral head that swivels during movement. This helps to reduce the amount of wear and tear on the new joint for longer lasting results. This surgical procedure replaces the head of the damaged femur with an implant designed to stabilize the femur and restore hip function. A modular bipolar processes is divided into three parts, which is a bipolar head, a neck, and the femoral stem. During the surgery, the surgeon first removes the head of the femur which is broken or diseased. Then the end of the femur is hollowed out. Thereafter, the femoral stem of this bipolar implant goes in the hollowed out part of the femur. Once the femoral stem is placed in the femur, the head of the stem is fitted with a ball and this ball swivels actually to limit the wire and tear on the joint. Thereafter, the ball is placed in the socket and the joint is tested. Now let us understand all the instruments which is required to do the surgery. First we start with a box chisel. Next a hammer. Canal finder, which is also called straight hand rimmer. This is the T handle for restrictor. Next, this is a cock screw. These are impactor and T handle extractor. Up next, osteotome. The one on the left is a curved osteotome and the other one is a straight osteotome. This is called a gauge. This is another version of an impactor known as pointed impactor punch. Next, this is a plier. These are called modular rasp. Small, medium and large. Marked as S, M and L to make it easier for understanding. This is called an anti-version instrument. This one is called an impactor extractor sliding hammer. This device is known as Murphy's bone skid. Up next, this is a chisel.
This is called a head impactor nylon face. These are bone nibblers. The one on the left is a straight bone nibbler and the one on the right is a curved bone nibbler. This one is called a Chanli retractor. This either comes in solid or in parts which you can assemble together depending upon the company. Like this. Next, this is called a scoop. These are called head gauge. It comes with two millimeter difference in between. Starting from 37 mm, 39 mm, 41 mm, 43 mm, 45 mm, and so on till 55 mm. This is a home and retractor. Next, a spanner. These are called Bristol's retractors. This one is called an SS wire guide. You can pass an SS wire through this guide. Next, these are called trial stems, available in small, medium and large. And these are called trial heads, again available in small, medium and large. And lastly, trial cups, available from 37 mm to 55 mm with two millimeter gap in between, with two mm gap in between. If this video was valuable to you, please like the video and share it to others. And if you are new to our channel, do subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get all the notification for our upcoming videos so that you don't miss any videos from here on. And if you have any queries, make sure you ask it in the comment section we will try our best to reply all of you back. See you soon with the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.